afternoon students. I'll be teaching JS2 basic technology and the topic is metal work machines. That is what we'll be discussing today. And let us explain what metal work machines are. Metal work machines are devices which operate on metal only. Metal work machines are devices which operate on metals only. Basically, they are machines that can operate on metal and such activities that can be carried out on metal machines are we have what we call cutting. That is, if you want to divide a metal into two parts, there is a piece of metal. If you want to cut it, there is a particular machine in metal work that you use for the cutting processes. Remember I told you that the metal work machines are devices which operate on metal only. Now, there we have types of metal work machines. There are types of work, uh, metal work machines. One, we have a center lead machine. Two, we have a drill press machine. And we have milling machine. We have power hacksaw machine. We have shaping machine and as well we have grinding machines. Let me repeat. We have center lead machine. We have drill press machine. We have milling machine. We have power saw. We have shaping machine as well. We have grinding machine. And these are the few metal work machines that we have. Now let us explain them one after the other. The center lead machine. This is a complex machine in a workshop which is basically used for turning materials. Any kind of shape that has to do with turning you is being carried out on a center lead machine. This is a metal and you want to produce turning design here. If you want to produce a cylindrical design, this metal is square. But if you want to produce a cylindrical result, uh, shape, you use the center lead machine or surfacing. It can be carried out on this uh, center lead machine. And then we have the drill press machine. The drill press machine uh, is a metal work machine that is used for producing holes on metal. If you want to produce hole here, you use the drilling machine, not the center lead machine. That is the function of the drill press machine. It is used for producing holes or making holes on metals. We also have these machines uh, that can be carried out on woodwork. But these ones are basically on metals. We have center lead in wood, for sure. And we have a drill press in wood. And wooden machines the the blades is not as that of metal because metal's machine will work on metal and you the material the, the machines have to be strong especially the cutting part of it now the next one we have the milling machine the milling machine is used for producing keyways especially in gears in connecting shaft there are keys. The keyways are very, very important because the key will hold another part of metal coming in contact with, like uh, you have metal A and metal B, and you have metal B to steer from on metal A, you have to introduce key, and that key will hold the metal firmly. That is what I would say, keyways. And the keyways could be horizontal, could be vertical or even inclined. So the machine is used for producing key waves or groove, groove where key will be inserted. You produce it and then you fix the key. And then the next one we have the power hacksaw machine. The power hacksaw machine is used for cutting metals into two. If you want to divide this metal into two, you use the power hacksaw. The power hacksaw is 
is capable of dividing or cutting metals into two or more parts. And then we have the, the shaping machine. The shaping machine is used for cutting curves, cutting curves, flat shapes on metals. If you want to produce a curve shape here, you use the shaping machine. Be it flat or groove. If you want to produce a groove that is an open hole, this a hole, right? You have to produce groove, you use the shaping machine. And then we have the grinding machine. The grinding machine uh, is used for wearing down or cutting down metals. If you want to obtain a smooth surface, you introduce the metal close to a part that is used for smoothing the surfaces of, of the metal. That is why we call it grinding. It cut off the layers. It cut off the layers to make to become smooth or become smoother. That is the function of the grinding machine. That is why we say it is used for uh, used for polishing, wearing, and this process can be done through rubbing or can be carried out through rubbing of the metals with the rotating uh, part of the machine that is responsible for wearing and cutting down the metal surfaces. That is the functions of metal work machines. And remember, I told you metal work machines are devices which operate on metal only. And then we have various types of machines. And I mentioned a center lead machine which is used for turning metals into different shapes. And then I also explain the drill press, which is used for producing holes on metals, right? And also, I also explain the milling machines, which is used for producing keyways on metals, keyways on metals. And also, I also explain the power hacksaw, which is used for cutting metals into two or more parts. And then I mentioned a uh, shaping machine which is used for producing curve, horizontal, uh, and flat grooves on metals. And then also the last one, which is the grinding machine, which is used for wearing down uh, uh, surfaces of metal through rubbing. And that is uh, the functions of metal work machines. And subsequently, we we'll see how this operation can be carried out. Um, thank you and God bless you.